Good evening, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm William McLaughlin, I'm here on day 14 of the 54th London BFI Film Festival. Tonight we're going to speak to the producers of James Franco's excellent new film, Howl. Why don't you tell me how you started writing poetry? I started writing poetry because I fell in love and I needed to express my feelings. Howl. I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness, starving, hysterical, naked. Would you say that Howell, the poem by Ginsburg, is obscene? Yes. This is a film about um, a poem. Uh, we call it a poem pic. Uh, but it's really about a moment in, in uh, contemporary, recent contemporary history uh, when we really see it as the birth of the counterculture. Uh, when this group of poets and writers got together and became what we know of, we know now as the Beat Generation, and created this body of work and this spirit that has infused the culture and really informed um, who we are and what we've become. And it's a film about uh, a moment in the life of an artist when he found his creative voice. Super. And are you uh, Ginsburg fans, or was this and was this a project that you pushed to be involved in, or did it did it come to you and you you became involved in it like that? You know, there's some projects you just get lucky and they happen for reasons you can never predict, but this is one that came to us. The Allen Ginsberg secretary suggested we consider doing a movie about the poem Howl, and that's that's how it all started. Super. And we've been working on it for eight years. Wow, that's great. Well, I just I read Howl this morning. Um, I'm, a, I'm an English lit graduate, so uh -huh. <laughs> this is stuff that I'm quite interested in myself. You, um, you filmed the film in a, and edited it in a non-linear kind of experimental fashion to reflect the poem. Could you tell us a little bit about that choice, how it came about? Yeah, we really wanted to find a, a form that would do justice to the poem. I mean, the poem was so revolutionary in form and in content. Uh, it felt, it just felt wrong to do something traditional and predictable. So we did not do that. <laughs> Speaking of traditional and predictable, I'm going to fix your collar. Okay. Your little, you know, little, right. little, little grooming. This is my beat look. <laughs> <laughs> this is my wild beat look. Super. Um, and could you tell us a, a bit about shooting the, um, the Sixth Gallery um, reading with James? Was that a sort of special moment for you? But yeah, it was a special moment. Um, you know, we, we were working from descriptions of what that moment was like uh, when Alan first read the poem in this little gallery in, in San Francisco. Uh, and everybody who was there describes it as being this really electric moment. And really, it was the, it was the first uh, spoken word poetry performance. It was the beginning of poetry slams and the whole culture that, that came out of that. And people who were there that night knew that something special had happened. And we, we worked with James to, um, to recreate that, that kind of excitement. And there were moments in his performance uh, where Rob and I were just watching him and our, our mouths hanging open and tears in our eyes because it was so, it was just so moving to, to, to feel the poetry come to life that way. Yeah, and, and some of the, some of the poetry is very abstract, but James was able to make it so immediate and emotional, as we imagine Alan did the first time he read it. I see. And um, just briefly summing up, could this be considered an adaptation, or is it something more than, than simply just a sort of a examination of the poem's contents, and is it more about the history of the generation as well? It certainly could be seen as an adaptation, and it's also about a particular historical moment. So it, it's many things. It's a meditation on the creative process and what it takes to, you know, what it takes personally and emotionally and artistically to create something that has lasting meaning. Um, it's, it's many things. <laughs> so that's James Franco's new film, Howl. I'm William McLaughlin, signing out for Premier Scene.